Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for October uh, 21st, 2020. And we are going to start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly today. We are trading way underneath the 50 moving average. And of course, this has an enormous effect on commodities and precious metals. Usually there's a negative uh, correlation between the US dollar index and most commodities and the precious metals market. And therefore, we have also seen most uh, commodities today uh, basically explode to the upside. But there is not a perfect correlation. This is an explanation for it, but not the total explanation. We are finding support at this area here, which was previous support at 29.99. If we break below this area, then that opens the door to much lower uh, rises to it will open the door to 99.46 and then to these all-time all lows of 91.75 not all-time lows but the previous lows if you look at technical indicators they are very bearish for the US dollar index it is most likely that this uh, index will basically go much lower. You can see the MACD has crossed the signal line, indicated bearish momentum, same goes for stochastic. The RSI is not oversold yet. And we can see that the CCI is showing that the trend is trending significantly to the downside. Um, when we see something similar to this to, for, the, for the CCI, that is most likely when we are going to turn around and we're not even close close yet. We are uh, we're probably way off yet. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to the to the 93 the 93 dollars uh, 93 uh, level, and after that to the 94.69 level. So if you look at the WTI, we can see that we. Uh, we're basically have been all around the place uh, the previous days. We are still trading above the 50 moving average. That is encouraging sign. But usually when the US dollar index collapses like it has done today, that is a sign that usually makes the um, WTI um, explode to the upside. But that is not what we're seeing at this point. And probably this is a sign that that there just isn't the demand for oil out there. The world economy is not doing very well. Coronavirus is basically exploding around the, the world, at least in Europe and, and, and uh, North America, South America, and so on, and, and also in Asia, especially India. And that has an enormous effect on airlines, on transportation, and so on, everything that basically uses uh, oil. So demand just isn't there. Uh, if we get additional stimulus, then maybe we have received several stimulus packages, uh, but nothing really has happened. We have been trading within this area of uh, $43 to the highs and uh, $36 to the lows now for a really, really long time. We're still basically in the middle. We have no... Um, no clear path whether or not we're going upwards or downwards. Personally, I am favoring the downside due to demand is just extremely low for this uh, market at this moment. If you look at technical indicators, they are more bearish than they are bullish. The MACD is flat, RSI is uh, stochastic, is technically flat, but we are showing signs of a trend uh, reversal here in the CCI. Uh, and we probably won't break down completely, but we probably will go towards these lows and then go up and trade sideways for some time. If we break below the 200 moving average, then that opens the door to the uh, previous lows at $36. Uh, a break above these highs will open the door to these pre previous highs of $43. If you look at natural gas, We have rallied again today. We are now overbought as the, uh, the RSI is indicating and the CCI is indicating. 
that will probably go a little bit higher. <laughs> that is, this market can just completely explode to the upside as we saw back in 2018. Uh, it's, it doesn't mean that th this is a good buying opportunity. It's completely nuts to buy right here. You should wait until you have a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to buy uh, into this uh, this market. Uh, buy here, it can basically collapse at any point and then you'll just uh, hang on to um, a loss for a really long time. But technical indicators are very bullish, but this can turn around really quickly like we did only a few weeks ago. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 200 moving average, but that is not expected to happen anytime soon. So you look at copper. Copper has basically exploded to the upside, probably mean to the to the fact that the that the Chinese economy is doing fairly well, and due to the US the US dollar index. Uh, this was not expected. It was expected to uh, to drop below the 50 moving average and head towards the 200 moving average. But at this point, we have completely changed direction, and and at this point, we are finding resistance at way back here. So, if we look at this, we are trading at 100, uh, 3 points to 15, and we have to go all the way back to. Uh, 2018 in order to see these price levels. Um, I would be cautious. I would not jump into this market and buy. We are not overbought at this moment. Uh, we are, these sticking indicators are showing, are really, uh, are showing real signs of bullishness, but the world economy is not doing well. China is doing, well, is doing okay, but it's not, uh, amazing it's not the 10 percent growth like it used to be it's like one two percent growth uh, so keep that in mind there is probably no reason for this massive upside in this market because compared to 2018 when the world economy was doing basically booming we are not booming at this point so we may rally here, that may be due to the US dollar index, but I can see this market completely collapse towards the 200 moving average. So you look at gold. We have tried to rally yet again up towards the 50 moving average, but it is just almost impossible to get through at this point. We have this additional trend line that we have to get True is right there. We have tried it several times, one, two, three, four, five times in recent weeks and months, and we have not gotten through it. And at this point, I'm just waiting for basically a drop to the downside. The, the gold market has been trading um, this way. It has broken down, traded sideways, broken down, traded sideways. And that's what I expect is going to happen in the coming days or probably coming weeks that will break down from here and then try to trade sideways until we get towards 1800 and and 50 or 1800 1800 will most likely be the massive uh, massive support oh where did i get out here it'll be a massive support in this area here and you have a lot of buyers coming in buying this and basically holding it to for the long run um, technical indicators are fairly bearish for gold. Um, this is not looking very good. There's just too much resistance above here. Even though we broke, if we break the 50 moving average and the trend line, we have to get to this previous resistance area. And that is not going to happen uh, at this point, I don't believe. The same goes for silver. We have rallied a little bit, but we're still trading underneath the 50 moving average. A break above it opens the door for this resistant area here, and that is not something I expect to happen. I do believe that we are going to fall all the way down to the $20 level, which is around here. That will coincide with a 200 moving average tra trending this way, and then we'll basically go to the upside. 
I am bullish on, on silver for the long run. Same goes for gold. As long as there is uh, expansion in monetary policy around the world, then there is uh, hope for this market. If you look at the technical indicators, they are mixed. RSI is looking healthy. The same goes with CCI. The same goes for the stochastic. But, but our MACD has been technically flat for quite some time. But I do believe that will break down significantly and then will go to the upside. If you look at Cocoa, we can see that we have broken down yet again. We rallied on in yesterday and on Friday's session, but uh, but today we have broken down quite significantly. We found res support here at the 2.368, and at this point, I don't expect us to break through the 200 moving average or the 50 moving average. If we do, then we'll go to these highs. Uh, there is a lot of uh, support underneath here. A break below these levels here opens the door to 2.25 uh, and then to uh, 2.094. The technical indicators are fairly mixed. Um, the MACD is showing sign that it is basically trying to turn around. The stochastic is showing sign of bullishness, but the CCI is not. It has turned around, and so has a RSI, and that is not a good sign for uh, this this trend. We this most likely was just um, basically just a blip, and it will fall further from here. If you look at uh, sugar, uh, sorry, platinum, I mean. We can see that we have rallied and gave back some of those gains. And at this point, I do believe that we are going to do an attempt towards the 50 moving average. Uh, if we look at the technical indicators, they are looking much healthier. The CCI, now the stochastic has turned around. The MACD is flat at this point, but the CCI is showing signs of strength, and so goes, so goes for the RSI. If we rally from here, then this most likely will be massive resistant. A break above that opens the door to these highs of uh, uh, 940 to 1000. A break below the 200 moving average opens the door for this area, which is should be uh, significant support. Both that area and the area underneath here should be signs of support. And probably good buying opportunities to basically get this at a lower price. There's just so much support on here. I don't expect this to basically fall apart. If it does break through here, then it would go all the way down to $583. So if you look at sugar, so we are starting to show signs of weakness. And that was probably... Uh, expected. I don't know if, know if we break completely down towards the 50 moving average, but we are overbought and trending, and the trends of the of the technical indicators are changing. Both for the RSI at 972 overbought, the CCI has to, is turning around, and that is not a good sign for this market. Last time we basically turned around was here. We saw this massive fall. The same goes for here. We saw this massive fall underneath the 50 moving average. I don't expect that to happen, but a major fall towards the 50 moving average is expected at this point. And the technical indicator for the stochastic and the MACD are about to turn around. They're still above their signal lines. This is a market basically that uh, has been rallying for quite some time, all the way back to May. And it has pulled back several times, but recently it has been rallying all since uh, mid-September to mid-October, and is about to basically have a pullback at any point. So if you look at wheat, we have tried to rally again today. We broke down. And at this point, I do believe that we'll have a significant breakdown, at least to these levels, 596. Uh, we can see that the technical indicators are all turning around. We are uh, overbought at this point. 
CCI is turning around. The same goes with the Stochastic, but not the MACD. When the MACD turns around, crosses the signal line, that is an, a major indication that we are going to see much lower levels. So this market is really aggressive when it turns around. You can see right here, broke, above, uh, broke to the upside and then just collapsed towards the 50 moving average. Same goes for here and here and so on. So uh, move towards the 50 moving average. You can just see that distance between the 50 moving average and these highs. It's going to be massive, but that is also a, a massive opportunity to get in on a buy because we are trending in the uptrend and there's no sign that we're, this trend is going to change anytime soon. So hopefully, I hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button, the bell button, and the like button in, in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.